Hi friends! Welcome to today's afternoon activity. Now we are going to do a fun art project um, that actually I got the idea from Teacher Taylor. Uh, she really enjoys this one and it's pretty simple to start and to do but it makes a really cool design and she calls it scribble art. So you can do this on paper with markers and colored pencils or crayons or you can do this with paint on painting paper and that's really cool too. Today I'm going to show you how to do this on my dry erase board and I only have three colors that I can use so I'm going to do it a kind of small and uh, all right well let's get started. So the first thing you need though is black. You can use a black marker or black paint if you're painting and then all you do is create some loopy shapes however you want to do them Whoop. I want to close this one okay. now you of course can fill up your whole paper but if I made one the whole size of this dry erase board it would take forever to color it in so this is just a small example now, the next step is for every space that is fully closed by a black line, I'm going to color that in. So like right here, it's totally closed. I'm going to color this part in red. And then over here, I have another one that's totally closed in. I'm going to color that red. And then here's one right here, little tiny one here and here and here and here oh and here okay now I'm going to switch colors I'm going to use green. And then I'm going to do this big area. <laughs> All right. I'm going to make this little one green also. And maybe this guy right here. And this guy right here. There we go. Oh, and this one. Now I'm going to use the last color I have, which is yellow. Now you, of course, will have more colors at your disposal, but I only have these three colors. And I'm going to fill in what's left with my yellow. And there you go. Isn't that fun? You get this really cool abstract design that's really colorful and fun to look at all the different shapes and how it flows. I love it. All right, my friends, I'm excited to see how you do this at home. Um, whether you do painting, if you make it really big or little, really small, uh, it's going to look amazing either way. Okay, I hope you enjoy this. And I can't wait to see what you do. I'll see you later. Bye.